I think Levin was a brilliant campaign. I think we 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 understood our team, the strengths, the weaknesses. We set up a good squad. We went through each and every game with a plan and um, executed that. Um, played some really good cricket. Got to the final. I think you know. I don't think we did anything wrong. I mean, winning the toss, we would have batted. India would have batted. Um, that's uh, their game plan. Uh, but no one anticipated the due to come in. Yes, we had some injuries in the semi-final, so we had to make a, quite a few changes because of that. I know people have a lot of uh, issues with those changes, how we did that. But I think... Internet, Wait, Angelo got injured Angelo got injured in the semi. Now, that's a big problem. That's because he had oh, bowling and batting. Batting all around. And we did not have anyone to, to, to do that at that time because Tisara was quite young. And we bought Tisara in for his bowling, but we wasn't sure about his batting. So we had to make sure that... And Murali was carrying a groin injury. So he wanted to play the final. So we said, yes, he can still bowl. Um, because I remember he bowled with two steps in the semi-finals against New Zealand. So we had to have a backup. So that's where Suraj came in and played in that match out of the blues. Um, from where, But because his record against India leading up to the World Cup and all that was the best out of all the spinners. So we drafted him in, played uh, Tissera to his, for his bowling and then we left out, I think it was Chamara, who was a batsman but he wasn't scoring runs and then bought in Kapu Gedera to replace him. It was a like-to-like -like kind of replacement because we needed some firepower at the back end. Um, so those were the three changes, if I'm not mistaken, um, we, we made in that finals. And... Uh, to be honest, if so, so this is probably something that not many people would have known. Like we had a combination for each team that in that World Cup kind of thing. We knew who we wanted to play. The only guy that we couldn't play, if Angelo was fit. Um, we would have played in that match. Was we would have left out one of the spinners and we would have played the Lara Fernando. We wanted some extra pace against India, and that went out of the window when Angelo got injured. We just couldn't play Dilar, that extra fast bowler. So we went with only two fast bowlers, which was Nuan, um, Lasit, and, and then obviously we had Tissera, who came in for Angie because we needed to cover for that all-rounder spot. But otherwise, the plan was to play that fast bowler. Extra bit of pace against India in one cut wickets because it has a little bit of carry. It has a bit more bounce. Yeah. Bounce and, so combination-wise, that would have been our ideal combination um, to go for that. But we just couldn't go do that because of the injuries we had. And I, I don't think we played a bad game. I think, you know, 270 was the highest chase in a World Cup. Um, even up to now, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, India yeah, batted well. I mean, we, we had them under ropes for a while. But the spinners couldn't get into the game purely because the dew came in. And we practiced for three days in that stadium two days in the evenings there was no due um, India would have done the same thing and they they said the same I mean if they had if we were chasing that we would have probably chased it down as well because India had three spinners as well which they played in, in that match so yeah I mean those are things that you know there are a lot of ifs and buts when you lose but I think I always say that the processes were right the selections were right the tactically we got everything right so up to that point, so I uh, no regrets the way we had those World Cup campaigns.